Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let's go to the book of First John of chapter 4. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, David, hello, sir. How are you? We love you so, 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 so much. We honor you in this place. We love you so, so much. We be blessed going out, blessed in the field, blessed in the city. Let everything that they do touches them, it's blessed. Hallelujah. Tell them what they, whatever God has given them as a gift will multiply in the name of Jesus. Tell them that you, I am sitting next to a millionaire in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. And mama is still under the power of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> God loves you so, so much. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. First John chapter 4. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that um, your gift will make room for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It says that he will make you sit among his kings. Hallelujah. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It means that what God has deposited in your spirit, it will make room for you. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God's gift are without repentance. So if He has given you a gift, whether you're still baby or when you're entering ministry whatsoever, the gift is still there. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I had a burden today. I had a burden. My burden, I, I, I wanted to, 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 to teach. To teach on worship and praise. I wanted to teach on that. That was my burden. I, this whole week I was speaking to my father the, the other day. I had a burden. This, that is what I wanted to teach tonight. I wanted to teach about worship and praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That was my burden. But unfortunately, we do not do things according to what we want. We do things according to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tonight, the message, if you want to cite it, we are just the love of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. The love of God. Hallelujah. The love of the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I believe most of us have, have, have been grown up or grown up in a broken society. Hallelujah. Because of the father figures that we have. Hallelujah. And it's hard for us to relate to God as a loving father because of what we've experienced. Hallelujah. It's either we, we didn't have, we had absent fathers. Hallelujah. Or we had fathers that just did not show us that. They were maybe hard on us. Or fathers that just didn't know God or the ways of God or teach us the way of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, my wife. Hallelujah. Uh, we've been together 18 years now from school. Hallelujah. Amen. When I met her, hallelujah, I, I didn't know that uh, she, she grew up in a home whereby her father was a very angry father or angry person. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So him being angry, he, he projected the same anger to her. Hallelujah. Because at the end of the day, whatever that you do, children, as much as you can say, but whatever that you do, children will catch what you do. Hallelujah. Amen. You can say it, but what you do, they will catch that. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're always shouting, they will catch that. Okay. To express love, you must shout. Hallelujah. Or, or in, this is the, the, the normal thing. Hallelujah. The parents, they shout at each other. The normal thing is the father he sits by himself. He does not come and play with us. We do not know what's happening. That's how, how our societies, hallelujah, uh, uh, have been uh, projecting, hallelujah, the love of God, hallelujah. So, with white people, it's totally different, hallelujah. They are able to access God's love easily because they grew up in a home whereby the Father is so loving. It's, it is new to them, it's, it's nice to them when the Father hugs them, hallelujah, amen. When I grew up, my father I mean, I did, did not hug me. Hug for who? My father, a hug. Amen. Amen. My father telling me that he loves me. Those words, I did not experience that. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if, if, if maybe some of you did, but I did not. So now, when I come to the family of God, hallelujah, as God the Father, and he says he loves me, it's foreign to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How can I receive something that I do not know? 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to teach about that tonight. Amen. Are you excited? Amen. Amen. We're going to teach about the love of God. What is the love of God? The source himself. Why God so loved us that he gave his own son. Hallelujah. We're going to teach and show each and every one of us that it's so important for your heart to be open for the love of God to permeate. Hallelujah. When the love of God is so strong, it's like, you know, you, you know, when a child knows that my father loves me or my father will do one, two, and three, they are always in peace. Hallelujah. We also want to make a believer like that, that whatever that you are going through, but be safe or be secure that I am loved by him. Glory to God. Amen. Once you establish the relationship that you have with the loving father, then it's easy for you to relate to him as a loving God. Hallelujah. Amen. You won't walk in condemnation, fear, or whatsoever that God wants for your life. Glory to God. I'm excited about tonight's service. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, 1 John. Glory to God. Chapter 4. Hallelujah. Are you there? All right. Glory to God. Amen. My Father, I love you so, so much. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You know, a spiritual father, we are so blessed with a spiritual father. The one that prays for you. The one that sees danger coming before it comes to you and says, this is my child. Hallelujah. You are not going to come near them. Hallelujah. That's the same as the, the God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. He knows the end from the beginning. Hallelujah. That means that God knows your next step. Glory to God. Amen. He knows where you're going to come short. He knows where you're going to fail. He knows where you're going to fall. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Once you start understanding that, then the gospel becomes so, so, so very nice. Hallelujah. Amen. First John chapter 4 verse 8. Glory to God. Amen. Are we there? Let's stand for the respect of the word. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, anyone who has let's let's read. We, we'll just read, we'll just quote that we'll see. Uh, amen. First John chapter 8. Hallelujah. Let's read. We are reading First John chapter 4, verse 8, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He that love not, knoweth no God. Amen. For God is love. Amen. The word of God. I tell you I tell you, we'll just go there. Nine. If this was manifested of the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world so we might have we might have I mean we might live through him Amen. ten here he is love not that we loved God but that he loved us Amen. and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Amen. Eleven, beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Twelve, no man. I've seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us. Amen. And His love is perfected in us. 13. Hereby know we that we dwell in Him and He in, in, in us because He has given us of His Spirit. Amen. 14 and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world let's go to 18 sir. 18 
There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because fear of torment, he that fear is not to be.